These lessons come along with my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can purchase my software on flashbrainanatomy.com. I put the links down there in the description. In this lesson I will illustrate the brain and more precisely the telencephalon surface from the lateral point of view. I will explain and tell the name of each gyrus at each sulcus. So here I will start with the lateral sulcus. This here I am illustrating right now the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. Then there is a central sulcus here with the precentral gyrus and the postcentral gyrus. This gyrus over here is the precentral gyrus and this is the postcentral gyrus. Then this lobe over here is the frontal lobe of the brain. The lobe over here is the parietal lobe of the brain. Then we have the temporal lobe of the brain and the occipital lobe of the brain. Now as I mentioned before, this over here was the postcentral gyrus. And to learn about the function of these gyri and other areas on the brain, you should go to my website and purchase my software flashbrainanatomy.com. However, I will continue now with explaining the other gyri and sulci on the lateral brain surface. We have the intraparietal sulcus here. And then we have the supramarginal gyrus. That's this gyrus over here. And then we also have the angular gyrus. And that's this gyrus over here. Then we have the occipital parietal sulcus over here. And we have the superior temporal sulcus with the superior temporal gyrus. So this is the superior temporal gyrus and this is the superior temporal sulcus. Then we have the inferior temporal sulcus or here and the middle temporal gyrus. And at last we have the inferior temporal gyrus over here. So this was the superior temporal sulcus, this was the inferior temporal sulcus, then we have the superior temporal gyrus, the middle temporal gyrus, and the inferior temporal gyrus. Then we have the superior frontal gyri and the middle frontal gyri. So here we had the superior frontal gyri and here we had the middle frontal gyri. This, these lessons come as a part of my software that you can find on flashbrainanatomy.com. There you can find a complete compilation of my flash lessons together with my 3D models interactive anatomy. And with my software I guarantee you, you can learn the narrow anatomy in just two weeks. Now with the inferior frontal gyri it's a little bit different. We have the triangular part of the inferior frontal gyri and that is this part over here. The other part is the opercular part of the inferior frontal gyri and it's this part over here. Then comes the precentral sulcus and the precentral gyrus. So this is the precentral sulcus and this is the precentral gyrus. Remember I mentioned on the beginning that this is the central gyrus here. And I also mentioned one thing, the first sulcus I mentioned was this lateral sulcus and this is actually the posterior part of the lateral sulcus. And remember on the beginning I also mentioned the lateral sulcus. And this lateral sulcus is made up by more parts. This part over here is called the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. 
Then we have the ascending ramus of lateral sulcus, and we have the anterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. This, these lessons come as a part of my software that you can find on flashbrainanatomy.com. There you can find a complete compilation of my flash lessons together with my 3D models, interactive anatomy. And with my software, I guarantee you, you can learn the narrow anatomy in just two weeks. But I illustrated some other little details on this image. And after I photoshopped this illustration, this is how it looks like. I will just mention that this sulcus here is the transversal occipital sulcus. Now you can pause the video and try to remember all the names of the sulci and gyri. If you cannot remember all the names, you should rewind and watch the video again. To, ha to have this illustration labeled with all the names, you should purchase my software on flashbrainanatomy.com. Now I will illustrate one more thing that is left and that is if we lift up this frontal lobe and pull down the temporal lobe we will be able to see the insula or the insular cortex. This over here is the insula. We have some sulci here in insula and we have the short gyri and insula. Those are the short gyri. Then we have one long gyrus of insula and that is this gyrus here. This sulcus here between the frontal cortex, the cortex of the frontal lobe and parietal lobe and the cortex of insula is called the circular sulcus of insula. This video is part of my animated lessons that come with my software you can purchase on flashbrainanatomy.com. I put the links down there in the description. You should please check them out. If you're not going to buy my software, then at least like, comment, or subscribe. This, these lessons come as a part of my software that you can find on flashbrainanatomy.com. There you can find a complete compilation of my flash lessons together with my 3D models, interactive anatomy. And with my software, I guarantee you, you can learn the narrow anatomy in just two weeks. I hope this was helpful to you. And if you're not going to buy my software, then at least like, subscribe, or comment. Thank you for watching.